Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna to be quickly showing you how to add motion blur to a photo in Adobe Photoshop. So as you can see, what we have is some motion blur back here. What we've done is we've actually added in that motion blur to make it look like the subject is going faster. So let's get started on this. It is a very simple effect to pull off, especially with modern Photoshop uh, technology. First thing you wanna do is import your footage. I got this from Envato Element, which is a great subscription service that you can subscribe to and get an unlimited amount of stock video photos, templates, etc. Check out the link below. Once you import it, a lot of times you'll have this lock on the background. Undo that lock so we can actually use the layer. We're going to go up to select and then subject. This is great when you have a separation between your subject and the background, like so. It should select exactly your subject right here. Now, we want the inverse of that because we want the background. So we're going to go back up to select and go inverse. Now what we have selected is everything that is not our subject. We're then going to go up to filter blur, motion blur, and you have your motion blur. You have a couple of things in here, your distance, which is how strong you want that blur to be, and then also your angle. Understand that if you go off of a zero degree angle, you're gonna change the feeling of this. Now it feels like the person is going down a hill. This one feels completely unrealistic, like they're falling off a cliff. Um, you just kinda gotta play with it to figure out what you want it to look like. Typically, you want it, though, be the motion going left to right, and then maybe a slight angle up or down to make the motion change around. And that's it. That's how you can add motion blur really quickly to a shot in Adobe Photoshop. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I make videos on all the Adobe content, so subscribe to see more tutorials. Thanks. Till next time. See ya.